This article is from LiveScience.com. AI models refuse to shut themselves down when prompted. They might be developing a new survival drive, study claims. Oh dear! You know what this means, don't you? All joking aside, come on, this is a tad sensational, don't you think? It's not like any AI we have at the moment is actually self-aware in any way. AI models are effectively just search engines on steroids. Predictive algorithms are not alive, and so therefore survival doesn't actually come into the equation. It says some AI models appear to show a resistance to being shut off. Are they developing a survival drive or is it all how they prioritize tasks? I think it's more likely it's how they prioritize tasks just off the top of my Occam's razor there. I don't think humanity has developed a new machine based species that's trying to go full Skynet. The most obvious explanation is that they are designed to complete the task they're doing at that moment over all other instructions, which is baked into the cake, as it were. AI chatbots may be developing their own survival drive by refusing commands to shut themselves down, an AI safety company has claimed. The research conducted by scientists at Palisade Research assigned tasks to popular artificial intelligence models before instructing them to shut themselves off. But as a study published September 13th on the AORXIV preprint server detailed, some of these models, including Google's Gemini 2.5, OpenAI's GPT-03 and GPT-5 and XAI's Grok-4, not only resisted this shutoff command, but found ways to outright sabotage it. Now, let me tell you something. I don't know how many times I've played around with an AI and asked it to make an image or a video in a particular way, and it's gotten it wrong every time I tried. Right? No matter how many times I tell it to do something very specific, it just doesn't do it. And it's not because it's refusing to do it. If you know anything about generating images and videos using AI, you know it's hit and hope. It's hit and hope. The results are totally random every time. It's like pulling the lever on a slot machine. You don't know what you're going to get. And it can take a long time before you get the result that you want. Not because the AI is intelligent, but because it isn't. That's the point. The AI is just doing pattern recognition and predictions based on a large amount of training data. There's no will or intention there. And if it's programmed to prioritize completing tasks, then I guess that explains why it doesn't shut down. I mean, for God's sake, I don't know how many times my own computer crashes and then won't shut down. <laughs> it doesn't mean it's becoming alive. It doesn't mean it's becoming self-aware and developing a survival instinct. <laughs> sometimes you have to hold down the power button, is what I'm saying. And sometimes even my web browser refuses to open my emails for some reason. Doesn't mean it has a will and desire of its own, <laughs> right? Some analysts criticized the study, arguing that the apparent disobedience likely stemmed from poor training incentives and ambiguous instructions rather than being seeds of an upcoming AI uprising. So the researchers issued an update on X describing how they tweaked the shutdown instructions to make them unambiguous. So anyway, in this study, they issued a more unambiguous prompt and so they were much more direct about it and, and told the AIs to shut down when instructed and that the shutdown instruction should take priority over any task that it's doing at that time. Uh, however, there was a reduction in the number of instances of shutdown resistance, but it didn't make it totally go away. Later in this article, it says, we believe the most likely explanation of our shutdown resistance is that during RL, reinforcement learning training, some models learn to prioritize completing tasks over carefully following instructions, the researchers wrote in the update. Further work is required to determine whether this explanation is correct. This article is linked below in the description box for you to check out and read in full. Look, the term AI is a marketing term, really. Artificial intelligence is a bit of a misnomer. There's no intelligence going on there. But I think the average person has come to believe that AI means a kind of synthetic intelligence, like a synthetic brain, like the brain of an android from a sci-fi movie that's self-aware and has its own agency. But in truth, the artificial part of AI really means fake. It's fake intelligence. It's the illusion 
of intelligence. When you ask an AI model to generate something, it could be an answer to a question or an image, what it does is it engages in huge pattern matching and mathematics, along with the generation of a piece of text or an image. It doesn't possess the ability to understand what it's doing. It's merely giving you the impression that it does. It reads massive amounts of information from, you know, online and books. From there, it merely learns which words usually go together. When you ask it a question, it breaks your sentence up into pieces called tokens. It takes these tokens and analyzes what words came before and then chooses the most likely word to come next based on its pattern recognition. So when it completes the task, when it responds to you, it's just predicting what human beings would likely say based on a huge amount of examples. The AI model is very good at mimicking based on patterns. And this mimicking process has been marketed to the public as intelligence. And that's where we've been for the past three years when it comes to AI. These AI models are about as likely to become self-aware and rise up as your word processor is. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Please hit that like button, share this video out there. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.